They were heroes, yes, but more than that, lifelong friends. There was a special spark that held them together. It was a rare thing, like a lightning strike. You couldn't make it happen, it just did. Then it became a memory, and then the memory faded, taken, stolen, ripped apart, and only one person remembers. It's up to him to reawaken his former friends and reforge the bond that made them great. great. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of Awaken Geekdom here on YouTube. This time we're tackling more Rebirth stuff with Titans Volume 1, The Return of Wally West. This is a really cool, fun little read. However, it comes with unnecessary baggage. Let me explain. Guys, if you want to read this book, I suggest you do a little bit of homework. At least you got to know what happened with the whole New 52 stuff. You got to know what happened with Rebirth. And that could lead to some people saying, hey, I kind of don't want to read this. Don't worry. You can read the book without knowing all that stuff. But trust me, if you know all that stuff, then this is a much better read, in my honest opinion. Now, for the uninitiated, the character of Wally West has been missing for a pretty long time. I would say since 2011, when the New 52 was about to begin, the character was nowhere to be seen, and uh, yeah, uh, people were really ticked off, like, where is Wally West? There were huge articles written about it and, and everything. It was madness. <sighs> so, uh, the creative minds at DC decided to do the whole rebirth thing, and they came up with a pretty cool solution. It's a little cliche by superhero standards, but it's serviceable and it does the series just Justice, I guess it's a pretty fun twist on why the character has been missing for so many years and in their uh, universe inside the DCU it's been 10 years and the characters have uh, this nagging sense that they're missing something that something's gone astray and the character of Wally West shows up in the rebirth one shot now I don't want to spoil that just in case you've uh, You've never uh, uh, read it, but I suggest you do so because it is excellent. That one shot, I think it was 84 pages long, explains to us what happened to Wally West and how integral he is to the whole plot of that issue and the, the DC universe going forward post-rebirth uh, one shot or whatever you want to call it. Now, Titans picks up immediately after that when Wally finally returns to Earth after being lost in the uh, time stream, let's just say that much and he is trying to reach out to his friends, the former Teen Titans, which uh, as of this book, now they're Titans. Uh, although back in the day there was a Titans book with the older Teen Titans, don't worry about it. Also, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you kind of maybe want to pick up the book Titans Hunt. It's written by the same author from Rebirth, Dan Abnett, and that book basically explains why Wally's missing from their memories and why these heroes, Nightwing, Red Arrow, Wonder Girl, Omen, uh, Aqualad, all these great characters don't remember being a team. And it also serves to explain why the New 52 Titans was so much different with Tim, with, uh, Tim Drake and Raven, Beast Boy, and all those characters leading the team instead of the classic Teen Titans. Now, I love the Teen Titans. They're one of my favorite groups in comic books. I love all their stories and the sense of unity. Here you have these sidekicks that are no longer sidekicks. They found refuge in each other and they form a bond, a friendship, a family together. You know, they're sort of outcasts. They don't have like mutant genes or any of that stuff in the Marvel, like they do in the Marvel world. These are sidekicks that want to go out and do their own thing and they found refuge in each other. And part of that uh, charm comes from the fact that you've got characters like Nightwing uh, and the others that I've mentioned before, all bonding and, and, and getting together and doing all the superhero stuff and whatnot. That is part of the charm of the Teen Titans. Now with the Titans, like I mentioned, they don't remember that they used to be Teen Titans and it's up to the events of that book when they start to remember. But they realize that something is missing. And like I said at the beginning, you don't really need to get them, but it's it's uh, more flavorful if you do. So 
just know that that happened and when we come to this book titans volume one wally west is back and he's trying to convince all these guys that uh who he is and whatnot before it's too late because basically this book is about a guy lost in time and trying to get all of it back his former friends his uh former wife uh, just his friendship and uh, adventures with the people he loved getting all of that back and I thought that was pretty interesting plus you've got phenomenal artwork from Red Booth and really just the whole book it gets you into feels if you've ever uh, lost someone or you haven't seen someone for a very long time and suddenly you meet them again it's like they never left and that's the feeling you get when reading Titans you feel like you're part of these characters their friendship has withstood the test of time even with the new 52 uh, separating them just when they're getting back together you feel like you're reading something uh, out of real life like these are real friends and they get along so well with each other and it's it's just great it's fun to see in my opinion so like I mentioned uh, Brett Booth does the art I am a huge fan of Brett he is one of my favorite comic book artists and just the overall book just looks fantastic so to have like seven or eight issues of just his art alone is awesome i am not a fan of quick artistic changes that happens a lot these days so i really like that we get one uh, artist going forward as for the main villain of this book they do face abracadabra one of the goofiest uh flash and teen titans villains ever and the character is actually pretty cool he's a techno wizard if you will from the year 3000 i think i don't know i'm not too sure about that but he's from the future and he uses magic but in reality it's like technology disguised as uh, magic to wreak havoc and he wants to throw uh, Wally West in disarray and basically send him into oblivion into the time stream so that nobody remembers uh, Wally and everybody remembers that Abracadabra is like the best villain ever or something I, I'm, I'm not too sure but his plan is pretty silly when you think about it if you are a fan of Wally West you're gonna enjoy this he's no longer Kit Flash he's he is his own Flash and I do believe um, not a f there was a bunch of people that didn't like the costume change but I don't know, man. I, I ducked the hell out of it. This is one of my favorite panels from the book. Plus, you get to see cool splash pages like this. This is one of the more iconic pages from the book when they all find out uh, about Wally and they're either trying to stop him or figure out who he is and then they quickly learn and you get this really cool heartwarming scene where all of them are together. And it's just fun. It's a fun read, man. I cannot say anything else uh, that would stir you away from picking this up. It's really cool. If you're wondering who my favorite Titan is, of course, of course, it's got to be Aqualad. I love all the Aquaman characters. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So, in my opinion, should you pick this up? Heck yeah. It's a fun read. Great art. Uh, you might want to do a little bit of homework in regards to the history of the DC Universe, but that's okay. I think you can sort of pick this up and be in the know of uh, who everyone is. Plus, the book already explains it for new readers that, uh, like I mentioned at, at the beginning of the video, that everybody was missing. All the relationships were thrown in disarray and you didn't know who's who. And the characters quickly learn that information so they keep moving forward. But if you want to spice things up and get more out of this book, then I would suggest picking up the Rebirth one-shot, having some knowledge of the Flash history, and of course, uh, Titan's Hunt, which is also great. It's a great read as well. I recommend it wholeheartedly. So yeah, speaking of Titans, there's also Teen Titans. Now I want to ask you guys a question. Like, comment down below, let me know. Titans Volume 1 or Teen Titans Volume 1? Which one was your favorite? Guys, as always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and many more. Just type a week in Geekdom, and I'm there for you guys. All right, I gotta go. I will catch all of you on our next episode. We going tech, tech, tech. Titans return. Titans return?